Welcome back to Dark Souls with Entra, just as I promised. Oh yeah, in Hippocat, of course. Yeah, hello. Uh, you might notice that my character's skin color is a little different and the level is like 7 above what I had last time. And there's a very good explanation to that. Well, I don't think I'm going to go into much detail. Uh, but I kinda lost my saves. And also... And also my game at large, so I had to buy another copy. Um, I don't think... Okay, I, I, intro, what? I'm sorry, but before we do anything, could you make the game quieter? Oh, bit? sure. I don't remember which settings I used before for this, so let's just say maybe... Like so, and then we'll see how it goes. Doesn't seem to really change anything. Okay, um... Alright, so I guess maybe... You know what, I have no idea what ha what's happening right now. Why is it not being quite... What does initialize do? I think it's like set everything to default or something. It's, well, it's not apply. Now. I guess we can play like this. Alright, so anyway, yeah, I don't think I should go into much detail because it would be just a long and boring tale. Uh, uh, let's just say Android fucked up big time. Yes, I fucked up royally, in fact, and uh, kinda deleted a profile here and there and just pretty much it resulted into me losing access to the game. So now I look like this. Still a woman, by the way. A woman? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. You are a monster, Android. <laughs> well, I mean, if you don't believe me... No, don't do that, please. <laughs> uh. Alright, here we go. Uh, so I had to replay the game up to this point, took one evening and uh, some loot is different. I didn't get... the, the things I didn't get are uh, the spike shield from that one invader NPC guy, although I got the sword. And uh, since no one invaded me in the dragon bridge area, I didn't get access to the place and didn't get two items on the bridge there. So the dragon is still there and the, everything is still closed there. But on the plus side I got this thing, boulder side sword, kind of slightly in some situations better than the barbed straight sword. And I also got uh, Black Knight Sword from that one, Black Knight. Although still no fucking Bandit's Knife. Uh, although last time, uh, after we stopped recording, I kinda went, walked around, did a bit of co-op, helped one guy kill the boss, and went to undead, lower Undead Burg, and I got two freaking Bandit Knives then. So I guess that the probability means that I'm not gonna get one ever in this session. Oh damn, it's still... Okay, now with these water sounds, yeah, it's way too loud. Or you are too freaking quiet, I cannot really no, tell it, it is, what's it, the deal here. I think it is really loud and I, I'm not sure what's going on. But, okay. Whoa, that's a big difference. Also, what's that sound now? I'm not sure. Are you hearing that? Yeah, like scratching or something like that. I thought it was you. Uh, no. Well, okay, whatever. Stop now. I uh, probably should have done this. Well, I, I didn't expect the sounds to change, but so whatever. In any case, here we are. Opening this thing again. Hopefully I won't die right at the end. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. I kind of wanted to... Uh, oh, well, it was probably pointless. Drop a summon sign in front of the uh, bonfire, so maybe someone would si summon me to... Uh, help them kill the freaking uh, gaping dragon since last time I found it kind of fun but uh, the sad part is that uh, as you level up you lose access to the bosses usually the game doesn't pair you with people who are way below your level and uh, so you don't get you don't get pretty much paired with people who want to kill a boss that you that's in the area so like for the gaping dragon I'm not sure what the uh, what what the level requirements are. I think I read that somewhere maybe over 40 if I'm over 40 is going to. So I could theoretically do that but I think, you know what I think 
uh, since I decided to start a little side play as the deprived tank with a bit of uh, faith I'm going to focus on PvP and uh, cope with that guy oh hey large club now if I was a deprived tank here I would be really happy here although I didn't drop a freaking uh, what is it? Dung pie. Dung pie, yeah. But they drop them quite often, so we will get quite a couple by the end of this area. This area is freaking massive. There is no chance for me to complete it today, so that's not going to be another one video, video like the depths. But these guys are kind of easy if you have enough space to walk around them. Do they do anything special apart from carrying a huge freaking club? No, well... I think their club is poisonous. Maybe. I'm using the spider shield, which, as someone said in the comments, one of its uh, un unmentioned properties is that it makes me kind of immune to poison and super poison. Which is going That's to... Cool. Which is going to, yeah, if I block the attacks, of course. Although I can't really remember being that immune really but that's going to help in this area in particular because there is one enemy no don't fall down I want your dunk pie uh, there is one enemy in here which is a total asshole although thankfully he doesn't respawn but if he respawned it would be just completely unfair whatsoever I mean not fair whatsoever uh, but we'll see one's coming up pretty soon uh, is this me or there is something down there like an item? Yep, but I'm not going to jump there because I can just walk there later. And that fucker didn't drop a dunk pie, oh well. Apparently there has been an update to Dark Souls uh, around, right around the day which I decided to fuck up everything. It's like 17th. And uh, I'm not sure what it changed. I read, damn it. Wow, such a fat guy still managed to dodge my thug. My stuff. Apparently, some multiplayer fixes were implemented to prevent a lot of cheating, which might help in case I get I would invade get invaded by like someone with 99 souls and such, 99 humanity and level something amazing. I don't know what the limit of the level is, but I think it's pretty easy to cheat uh, in here because. The save games are stored on your computer and you can pretty much edit them, I guess, maybe. I don't know how, I don't think they're, like, openable in a notepad or anything, but still. There is a lot of people doing a lot of cheating. Also, there is some horrible sound right now. Could you probably, like, reconnect your mic or something, see if it changes it? Did it do anything? Well, I think the sound went away, so that's that's good, I guess. Ah, but I'm really happy to at least be finally able to play Dark Souls again. You don't know what I went through during that week. Because when you don't have the game, you only want to play it that much more. Also, while there is nothing to talk about, I'm going to explain what happened. Pretty much, uh, I renamed my... Xbox Live account, which was ZipperCreep52, because I didn't want to be known as ZipperCreep52. All right, Dan Pai. Uh, and your Xbox Live account name is what is shown when you leave a summon sign or a message, I think. Uh, so I, I wanted people to recognize me because I'm so famous, and so I renamed my account. And then the saves fucked up because the game s uh, stores saves in the folder with a name. So, it created a different folder. But I didn't know that at the time. So I went, I kind of panicked. And I did a lot of stupid stuff, among which was deleting my Microsoft account. I wanted to make another one with another name uh, right off the bat. Also, this one guy uses a human corpse instead of a club. Oh well, and now I'm suddenly super poisoned. Kinda hope. So, are you gonna die now? Well, not if I. I don't have any cure for the super poison, but I might survive long enough to at least kill the dude who super poisoned me. 
so anyway, I deleted my Microsoft account, which is a separate thing from the Xbox Live account. But unfortunately, the game itself is stored on the Xbox Live account and the CD key, I mean product key, there is no CD key anymore. I don't think I'll survive, but I'll try. Uh, and uh, you access the thing only through the Microsoft account. So since I deleted that, I have no access to my Xbox Live account at all with the game. So I pretty much locked myself out of ever playing using that product key again. And uh, well, I had to buy another copy to get an, a different CD key. Oh. This really annoys me well, to I'm no fucked. end. After Steam got popular, everybody starts making their own online DRM slash shop systems, yeah. and all of them freaking suck. It's it's terrible. And even if you buy the game in Steam, you still have to make 10 million accounts and games for Windows Live, like you play Origin or whatever other shit they came up with. And this is so annoying. Holy shit! I Why definitely, can't they just definitely use agree. Steam? Steam is already the best system ever. Why do they have to make their own shitty ones? Well, you know, competition. They are probably hoping to also get into this market. I don't know. No, no one really succeeds. I think no one likes anything but Steam. And uh, thankfully, Games for Windows Live is going to fucking shut down in summer 2014. But it's also going to bring down all the servers. So. Unless uh, from software patches Dark Souls to work with Steamworks exclusively, uh, online is going to be gone in a bit less than a year. So I have to enjoy it as much as I can before that happens, I guess. Um, what was I talking about? So yeah, pretty much that happens. So kids, don't do not do that what I did, because it's really dumb. And I wanted to say something else, but I kind of forgot. Also the horrific noise sound is still back, but I think this time it's mine. It's a slightly different noise. Oh no, when he disconnects his mic it goes away. You don't actually disconnect it, I just disable well, it with the button on the mic itself. Yes, yeah, so I guess sometimes it's from your microphone. Get a better microphone, man, uh, they, are, they are not d expensive at all. Well, I already did. This is the better microphone and I'm using not that shitty genius one. So it's the different one from the ones you, you used like all the other previous Let's Plays? I mean, my videos even... Uh, or is no, it? it's... Uh, if, if you remember my very first video on the new channel, it had some really bad noise problems. And I got a new microphone and it became better. Ah, so it didn't change between my the times when you guess it in my videos. No. Hmm. And I think it's my sound card or something, because my computer is in a pretty shitty state. So I see it. Well, that kind of sucks, but I guess we'll have to... I don't think there is a way to record game audio separate from your audio, so... Even if you did, like, record your own audio, audio, audio in a separate file, it wouldn't help anyway, so... Oh, also, I think you can make that guy just fall if you stand here. Come on. Oh, I think he did fall. Yep. That's convenient. Yeah, the guys, when you're up and they they don't really... Even in a situation when the king can climb up towards you, they sometimes just don't and walk down there where you can plunge attack or something. In this case, you can lure them all down, I think. In the interest of time, I'm going to do that here with this guy too and the next guy. And that guy just just hit the ground, so you can you can see how deep this goes. Also, I think I think that guy gave up on me. Okay, should I mention it every time when your no noise comes back, or should I just give up on that? I don't know. Whatever suits you and throw it, I don't know. Oh well, I guess... Um, hmm. It does improve it each time you do that, but it's probably... It can get a bit annoying for the viewers if I constantly say Hippocat, your sound is bad again. Also, yeah, you see, he pretty much almost poisoned me with one hit here. 
least it's not toxic, I think. Yeah, the, the droplet is purple blue thing color, not black like in super poison. So, what is that uh, dung pie that you wanted so badly? Is this just a pile of shit that you can give to that crow or whatever? Well, not only you can give it to the crow, you can sell it, of course, for added hilarity, as you'll see later, but uh, you can throw it at people and it poisons them if it lands. <laughs> so I might I might pour like uh, unreasonable amount of effort into trying to use that in PvP sometime. <laughs> yeah, win in PvP by throwing shit at people. That's the best game ever. Okay, let's attract attention as as slowly as we can. Now for some reason only that guy who swings a corpse noticed me. Ah, so you, you start hearing that yourself? Well, if I pay enough attention, I might be able to hear it. Well, that's nice, I guess. I wonder if it... I don't know, if we enable some sort of push-to-talk system. If it would... Oh, no, 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 no. That's a grip attack. Uh, if it would help the situation. Well, I can do the push-to-talk thing if you want. Well, what, in the middle of the video? Right? Like this, right now? Well, I already have a convenient button to disable my microphone, so I can just oh, so you can, yeah, disabling well, and enabling it. Well, I guess it would be beneficial to the overall quality if you just enabled it only when you said something, maybe. Okay. Uh, but... There was something... Ah, yeah, explaining that one guy who toxic to me. It, it's not these guys. These guys are... Contrary to what it may appear, how it may appear, they're not really that powerful. Although I'm a bit underpowered myself. Not under level, but for some reason I don't deal that much damage. Damn it. No hugging attacks. And so they are a bit more annoying than I'm used to, but... Oh yeah, my ring of the evil eye in effect. I'm getting some health back each time someone dies. That's nice, I guess. But the one fucker that toxics me is somewhere... this is the best part. A lot of people hate this area. Uh, I'm going to slowly move forward and see if you can spot something flying at me at some point. I'm going to tell... I'm going to, well, say if I see it. There it is. Oh! That thing. That thing. Did you see it? What? Those little white things that are flying at me right now. The super tiny white things you mean? Yes. You see that guy by the torch? Oh, are those freaking projectiles? Yes, he is using a blow dart and the blow dart is toxic. So the guy just from the darkness where you can't even see him is going to do that. And unless you're conveniently turned to face him and your shield up, you're going to get toxic. That's bullshit. Yep. <laughs> kind of fun though. Uh, and they don't respawn when I kill them, so they're kind of just like... Uh, difficulty how to overcome once overcome overcome too bad I forgot to go into the forest like I did last time before I fucked my s my game over I went to the forest off camera and I kind of farmed for some uh, moss clumps or whatever they're called I think I only have one right now and it's only for curing the regular poison yeah purple moss clump oh I have three that's cool uh, but there is one like that only with a white blossom. I don't remember what's called exactly, but it cures toxic. Fuck you. Oh no 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 no. And he doesn't even drop that for me. Oh well I'm kind of slightly in a pickle. And the second part why people don't really like this location is because it lags like hell on consoles, because it's optimized very, very poorly. Uh, What's up with that? I thought all games for consoles are like optimized in a super cool manner. Nope. That's why consoles that, are, that have well, worse characteristics than PCs, they sometimes are able to produce much better picture because of the optimization. Well, it's it really depends on what the particular 
uh, developer does for the particular game and particular areas of the game and whatnot. Usually the games just don't use some fancy uh, post-processing filters or something like that or just have simpler geometry or have other clever ways to not be as resource demanding but in this area unlike all the previous ones which are just like castles and whatnot and from a distance they can get pretty primitive here it's all it's like a shanty town it's built of a lot of freaking planks as you can see all the planks well not all but most of them are separate uh, shapes so that kind of screws up your frame rate because there is this looks kind of simple so far and we're just in a little corridor here but it's going to open up quite a bit and even though we can't see any of it because it's so dark it's lagging the consoles so much and so yeah but i i like this area aesthetically i have to say i really like it especially this part i guess because this has like the colors and uh, I don't know, I, I like it. And uh, when when it opens up, it becomes slightly less pretty. And also there is sky at this point, so it's not as atmospheric also. But still kind of an interesting area. Really, really convoluted, I have to say. You have to remember a lot of samey looking pathways and whatnot. And now suddenly everything is yellow. I don't know, to me it just looks like some random shit pieced together in a cave. Well, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, but suddenly the cave is humongous, as you can see there. I'm going to get a better look later. No, no, no! Grab attacks. At least I kinda learned to escape grab attacks. I just smash not just the jump button, but the Q, I, which is the use button and attack button. And something helps. I'm not sure what, but something helps. But I'm not going to demonstrate willingly what these guys do. Well, they pretty much just like hug me and maybe bite me a little bit. Goodbye. But yeah, that's... I hope I remember how to get some of these items Read here. Read the message. Ah, right. Well, there isn't really potential for, for hilarious messages in this area, but still. Well, yeah, that's that's true, I guess. Although I don't think there's a sniper around here. The next one comes a bit later. Okay, let's see. Do I just... Yep. And now I have ninja wear. Let's see what it does for me. I think it makes me more resistant to poison and other shit. So let's... Yeah. Only lower... Th uh, the thing is lower is magic defense. And I can live with that. I don't think anyone attacks me with pure magic in here. Although I don't approve of ninjas. I don't like ninjas. I'll have to suffer... Being, being <laughs> uh, no sleeves, uh, being closed like this. I guess it's kind of cool. At least uh, at some point we can get a sword. Uh, or what? I don't remember. Hmm. There was a way to make like backflips. Maybe it's a ring. I'm not sure. Or is it a sword that has an attack like that? In any case, uh, if you are confused about the structure here, you can look for torches, and usually they are on top of ladders like this. So that helps navigation a little bit. But of course, help knowing knowing the layout here helps much more. Also, I think I could jump down here on this ledge. And there's something. Yep, a lot of little places like this. And I believe I mentioned them at some point before. Uh, the wiggling bridges, which you walk on, and they pretty much just move from under your feet. They are here. So we'll we'll see how fun that is at some point. Ah, those guys will just go around and try to get a drop on me. They won't be back in a while. And you can probably also hear another enemy that I hated before. Here's a, a new version of them around here somewhere. No, not right now, but there are some sounds. I'll tell you if they come back or if we just see them. Okay, where do I... Where should I? Should I just jump down there? Probably, yeah. Though there, there is the enemy, which should be around there somewhere, but there is also a bonfire. Okay, fuck it, let's risk it. Oh, there it is. It's new dogs, fire dogs. They are... well, they breathe fire pretty much, if they want to. Don't do that often, but when they do, that's really damaging. Bonfire, hell yeah. And I already have one humanity. So I can use one more and kindle it. 
I look kind of ridiculous right now. I think. Well, not really. Well, you probably like ninjas, but I don't know. Just the fact that it doesn't have any sleeves. Well, at least now it's not as stupid. Yeah, there is sky, there is all sorts of openness here. Oh yeah, uh, the difference between my stats right now here and what I ended up last time, I put two points in intelligence dexterity, I think I also put two points in vitality and maybe one in endurance. The rest is pretty much I followed my leveling up scheme from last time. Okay, I'm going to raise dexterity a bit because in here I seem to be using my sword more. This sword is also better than the others because it scales with my dexterity a bit more and with the strength a bit less. It's sort of a piercing sword. This sort of attack is the best with it, the power attack. Also, I learned that those shrubs, the bushes enemies in the forest, they are uh, much more vulnerable to piercing attacks than they are to just slashing. I don't know why, but that's... Well, the enemies do have different resistances for different attack types. Oh boy. I could show off leather combat here, but I'm not in the mood for that. Especially if I get knocked down. Well, what's kind of dumb here is that they don't get collisions until they finish climbing. Okay, let's try this. So, normal attack is up, power attack is down. Fuck off! Fuck off! But they're just going to keep hitting me and I'm going to fall with a hilarious animation. Then they're going to Goomba stop me. That was a bit of a failure on my part, a bad plan. Okay, I should drink. Drinking is not the answer, Android. <laughs> oh, but it is, it is, Hippocat. If you've lived as long as I have and seen the thing, things I saw, you'd see that, yeah, drinking is pretty much... In the world of Dark Souls, it's the best answer. Couldn't you kick them down the ladder or something? I'm not sure about down the ladder, because as you probably noticed last time when they were climbing and I was hitting... I didn't actually hit them un until they got on top of the pl platform here. I couldn't hit them when they were on the ladder, but I can just keep kicking them down. I think I might be able to use magic when they're climbing. Nope. For some reason they seem to be slightly no clipping when they do that. Also, ah yeah, that's the thing I kind of wanted to mention. Uh, with that update that Dark Souls got, uh, it broke one of the mods that I'm using. Uh, thankfully didn't break the visual thing, but it kind of broke the mouse fixing mode, so my movements are a bit jerkier. It always moves at the same speed, no matter how m at, how at which speed I move mouse, so I cannot move faster than the set speed. And I cannot move slower than that, which is kind of dumb. And also lock-on is hilariously bad, I forgot how bad it was. Oh well, there we go. Fuck off. Yeah, lock on is jumping from enemy to enemy, and I don't think it killed me in this playthrough so far. I mean, this character, the new character. Uh, but it's really annoying because it can just mid combat. I'm swinging or shooting magic at one guy, and just mid animation it jumps to another guy, and I completely miss everyone. So I'm waiting for the mod people to fix their fucking mods so that they'll work again. And let's climb some. Raptors. Um, I'm usually good at. Oh, yeah! Blooming purple moss clump. This is the anti toxic thing. I'm usually good at this sort of thing. Should I go there just to read the message? I probably shouldn't. Yes, you should. <sighs> Indeed. I was expecting something like try jumping. Ah, that's, that's tired and unfunny at this point. There were a lot of places where I uh, said try jumping already. Okay, first I don't want to use that bridge, but yeah, just to confirm nothing else here. There's something at the top there, I think, one, like a katana or something. It, I'm probably going to die a couple times while trying to reach that. But this is a funny bridge. Too bad I'm just so amazing at platforming, it doesn't really do anything for me. But it can throw people off really easily. Oh, no, 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 you don't.
Really annoying when you land a couple hits and the enemy is left with like a millimeter of his health. Ah shit! There we go, I have no idea why fire breathing dogs are in here. But they just are, I guess. No? No? Also a bit of the lore of this place, it's... Well, there's a bit of a swamp down there at the very bottom. And this is pretty much... Oh wait, fuck what this... What? Oh, there's something down there. This is a place where apparently sick and... Uh, well, just sick people were dropped down into or something like that. So it's just like... Uh, well, Blight Town. The name speaks for itself, I guess. And uh, I think one of the witches of Isolith or her sisters came here at some point to try and help them. But it didn't work very well, although she kind of formed a cult around herself here, which we'll see and be able to join a bit later. Probably not in this video, though. I'm not getting my hopes up. I don't even think we're going to get down to the swamp in this one. But at least I should be able to gather some of this shit, so I don't have to waste that time later. Well, here we go, Hippocat. Great minds think alike. Okay, going back across the freaking flippity, flappity, zippity boop bridge here. But what if there really was a secret there and through it? And you just missed it but by not jumping. I'm fine with that. All the secrets are visible from afar anyways. Unless it's chest of course, but I think chests also have a bit of bloom applied to them so you can see them shining a little bit specular or whatever. No, probably not specular. But who knows? Maybe specular. Okay, I don't think I should rest at the bonfire right here, but I'm going to see how this loser died here. Ah, quite boringly. I was hoping it fell down there. Honestly. Let's have a bit of a look. Can't see nothing down there, but we will be able to do that later and get down there. Right now, let's concentrate on finding our way. Okay, I should get back to where I came from for a little bit because... Okay, is this? No, it's not a... Oh, yeah. There is a leather here. Uh, there are other things up there before I drop down. Oh shit. Ah, what the fuck? I didn't think this happened. Ugh. Phew! I, I thought I was stuck there and without any means to get back up. Okay, that was interesting, I guess. Was that supposed to happen, or this is just some random thing? I mean, do you have to do this to progress? No, I, I I never fell down there before. Maybe it's kind of scripted, if there is an enemy left there, maybe he'll do that. Maybe the floor is just a breakable thing that is positioned in such a way that it easily breaks if someone fights there. I don't know. Yeah, Gaga, get off me! Man, I know I'm an attractive lady, but still, keep your hands to yourself. It's kind of funny how your character has that really feminine voice, but looks like a fucking man. Well, yeah. Although with my mask, you can kind of maybe imagine that she looks much better. I went through a couple looks before I settled on this one. Uh, I couldn't get the one I had before, like an ogre thing, but... Okay, did I need to get here? I don't... Oh yeah, that was the same bridge, so I guess I fell down to there. Alright. Uh, I had the look of like a Buddhist monk or something, it was really orange and for some reason she had like a mustache and the eyebrows all white. And I wanted to do that, but then I... I think I pressed initialize, which we asked about not too long ago, and it reset her to the defaults. 
so I had to do that again to the, the randomized thing and it just didn't get me that one again. Okay, you guys are getting old. Yeah, ga 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 ga, I should... Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Okay, this is probably not the best place to run. Yep. Oh well, nothing much lost and the bonfire is right there. And judging by the number of enemies, I didn't even kill that many. Although no, my arms are dingly again and they look kinda dumb. But I can live with that, I suppose. Do I have different animations as an undead? For some reason it looks like I'm running differently. Oh well. Okay, whatever, fuck my corpse. I think I'm just going to get to this ladder again. Your fucking corpses now went through it. Yeah, my own corpse, so it's... Ah, by the way. Is that the monster in the barrel? Yep. I think he just sits there and unless you smash the barrel. Okay, where did I fall last time? Someone fell down there at least, that's good. Ah, I think here, yeah. One of those fuckers I think landed down on the floor and collapsed it, so I'm going to be informed here and try to kick them all down. Ah, oh, shit. Nah, it didn't work again. Okay, how do I escape? <laughs> Bravery indeed. I wonder if they can cross this bridge. Ah, even if they can't, doesn't really help me that much. Escape! Arg. Well, at least I am showing off how amazing I am at running across that fucking bridge that kills so many people in this game. I would appreciate if you showed how amazing you are at fighting multiple monsters at once. I don't think I'm amazing at that, so that's probably not going to happen. I'm just going to be amazing at tacticalism and uh, try to fight them one by one. But I care that you get an adequate experience. Someone just keeps falling down and it's not even this guy that I kicked down. You get an adequate experience showing what it's like to play Dark Souls. Especially this area, so that's why I am not being absolutely amazing. I did after all finish this, I mean uh, not finish but get back to the same place where we ended our last Let's Play video in like uh, three hours. So a couple times faster than we did on video. Yeah, I think that guy died. Okay, let's climb up here first and deal with these fuckers. You can go down there. You. Well, at least this area is amazing for ki kicking people down things. Just make sure they don't kick you down. Ah, oh, shit. Didn't make mean to make that floor break, but I hope I can still get that item. At least it's good that the floor respawns each time, I guess. Reconstructs itself, maybe it's a monster, secretly. Ah, good luck with that. The fuck is he doing? I'm not sure, but it reminds me of some video I saw. I don't remember which game it was, but there's... I think maybe like Assassin's Creed, where it was... There was a bug when you were considered falling for a long time like this, and he made like the most gut-wrenching in human screams or maybe it was enemies I think it, it was enemies in one of the Assassin's Creed games or something okay you move here this guy I'm just going to let live in his misery and it was all just for a soul of a nameless soldier of course <laughs> uh, Dark Souls Okay, anything here? No. I wonder if he can escape at all or he's completely stuck there. Oh, and here we are back around this place. 
so last time I didn't go here I think yeah there is at least yeah I have to jump there I think and it's going to suck let's kill everyone around so that I don't get surprises well I don't think they notice me oh well okay which direction do I jump kind of like that I guess with this mouse it's kind of jerky so it's a bit of a bitch to try and aim properly because the slightest movement just makes it rotate a lot let's just say Ah, oh, no, 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 but at least I'm still alive. Not for long, it seems. I can even get my colors back. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's back here again. Ah, fuck you, your foot disappeared. I wonder why I didn't... Well, I kind of jumped well there, I almost made it over. I guess maybe I hit a plank, which I wasn't supposed to hit. From my experience, from my memory, I think that's like the toughest jump for me in the entire freaking game to make. I don't remember any other giving me nearly that much trouble. Hopefully they won't give me too much trouble now. Okay, you can also fall down there again. You know what, I'm having fun just kicking people down these platforms. No, 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 no. Ah! Man, he jumps far. I think this kick is better than Dark Messiah, because in Dark Messiah it could be blocked. And I had stamina, I couldn't kick too much. And here I can just stun lock people. Yeah, he's going to climb back, but I'm just going to run and jump before he does that. Yeah. Oh wow. So yep, now we got some sort of eastern weapon, let's see what it looks like and what it does for me. Yaito, or whatever. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Okay, it's slightly better is in physical. Is that an actual name for the weapon, or that's something they made up for Dark Souls? I have no idea, I never had any interest in eastern weapons. But... Well, it's much worse for blocking if I decided to block with my weapon. And I can't even use it because I need like four more strength, but it's better in... Um, where is my other, which I'm using right now? 80 and now this is 88. And it scales the same with dexterity and it has the bleeding effect, so maybe, maybe if I have enough souls at some point I'm going to invest four into strength and maybe use that for a while. But maybe I won't. I don't know. I guess if I'm looking forward to using Velka's Rapier, or whatever that's called, which uh, scales with intellect. It may also have a strength requirement on it, as swords seem to do. So, it may pay off in the future. Okay, now I think I might have gotten most of the things in this general location. At least I don't see anything, any white stuff, so to speak. So I'm just going to trust that I got it all here and move on. Oh, these are going to be annoying to try and hit with magic. Or not. Have I landed a single backstep on these guys yet? I've been trying for. Yes! Finally. And in addition, he can just fall down there and get fucked. Okay, new territory. Yep. And I think there is at least one... Yep, yep, yep. There is the bastard. But we can get that guy for a while. So we'll just have to stand here. I think here he can... Oh no, there are the darts flying. Oof, that was close. 
shoo, shoo, shoo. Uh, f oh wow. Yeah, my ninja costume actually helped. I'm only half toxic and I didn't get completely intoxicated now. And it went down a little bit, just enough for me to survive another. Thank you, ninja costume, I guess. Okay, no one going from behind me. Now, can I hopefully lock onto that guy? I don't think I can lock onto that guy, actually, which is kind of sad. Yeah, but at least from here he can't even hit me anymore. He was only dangerous when I was around that bridge, so for now I'm kind of safe, but there are more, of course. Why wouldn't there be more? Although it's good to know that I am, I can resist one, one dart safely. Okay, I'm trying to get around with this side because there was an item somewhere. Let's look at it from this bridge. Somewhere. Yeah, that white thing down there. Okay, how would I get there? Probably from a lower place. Yeah, definitely. They wouldn't require me to fall down so much. Okay, let's just go, I guess. Oh, there's that charming thing there, which you can hardly see, but still. The hell is that? Looks like a... Uh, uh, what, what's... Shogoth. I forgot the English word for that. It looks like a freaking Shogoth from the game Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. But no, it's... And I have no idea what you were even trying to say there. I, I, have no, I don't know what word you forgot. What's the Russian word? Also, you were kind of quiet with your mic there. The Russian word is like sleazy. Um, I should know this. Like the snail, but the one without a shell, that thing, right? Yeah. Um, freaking, I, I don't remember either. <laughs> Whatever, people are going to understand from my description. Also, you really are quiet there when you talk. Microphone really close to me, so I'm not sure why. Huh? Am I quiet? Maybe he didn't like so much turning off and on. Although, why wouldn't it? Ah, crappy shit. Okay, got to deal with someone. <laughs> Yes. Okay, how about now? Oh, that was better. You were as loud as you ever were. Okay, I guess I'll keep it this way. Um, what did you change, just out of curiosity? Well, turns out I had some uh, setting in Skype, like auto-adjust microphone. Oh, that's shit. And I shit. disabled that and made it like maximum volume. There isn't a single auto just function in any sort of program anywhere that ever is worth turning on, I think. At least in my experience. The especially terrible is like the Windows default volume thing. If you try to make an auto volume or noise reduction or something, I don't remember which. But it completely fucks up you. Either you, I don't remember what happened. Some, someone, either you or the other sounds, like the game sounds, are getting... Louder and louder and louder to the point of completely deafening. Oh! Hello! Heh! <laughs> that was a pleasant experience. Uh, by experience I mean surprise. But I guess an experience to also. Okay, you... I don't think these guys drop anything, so I feel... I don't feel bad about dropping them. Uh, down to where their corpses are inaccessible. Eagle shield! It's I think it's a large shield, the first great shield or whatever they're called that we have. Let's see how it compares. Well, great lightning defense, I guess. And slightly better magic defense. But I'm going to use the one shield that's pretty much suited for this area, I think. Ah, the thing is still here. I think it's like an insta-kill if you get in front of it. I once tried and I... Well, I'm not going to try that again, ever. 
Okay. This is getting slightly confusing for me. <laughs> the layout here. Unlike all the other areas in the game, this one I have to relearn each time because I completely cannot remember any of this apart from the vague general directions. Oh, oh, oh there was someone there. Someone ran across there, but I guess maybe he can't go up here. Or something dumb like that. I still love that they're using half rotten corpses as weapons. It shouldn't actually make a very good weapon. Well, I don't think maybe it's maybe it's a bad weapon. I I, I don't remember what their usual weapon is. It's like some kind of stick or club. Maybe maybe they just attack with their hands. I'm going to look at the next one without a corpse that we'll see. But I don't think it m deals like more damage or anything. It's just a cosmetic difference, I believe. Okay, stop doing that. This guy is really affectionate. Hmm, I guess maybe the ones with the corpses might drop souls. That would be kind of logical in some way, I guess. It also makes that weird sound. Ew. I, I like these little unique things, like, well, hardly little, but you know what I mean. This guy is the only one in the game and it's, he's completely unexplained and he doesn't appear again anywhere and he doesn't respawn when you kill him, so, like, just surprise, horrible eldritch abomination out of nowhere. Okay, you are not throwing me down. Also, I enjoy that we get the items from these guys when we... when they die. Apparently he didn't die. Yep, judging by the sounds, he's alive and kicking and blowing darts at me. Hell, you can... Fuck off. Okay, where is the fat dude? Jesus, what happened? Oh, he's down there. Okay, I get it. Purple moss clump. Get, go away. Thank you. This is a bit annoying when the messages just stay on your screen until you press a button and the button half the time doesn't even work because you are doing something else. Okay. I wonder if I can get him with magic through the... Nope. Was he hitting you through the floor? Well, he hit me once there when I kind of screamed slightly. And I'm not willing to risk it standing there again. Okay, this is going to be kind of slow if I do it like this. I don't know, just ignore him, maybe? Do you have to go that way? Well, I want to go that way. Maybe I have to go, I'm not sure. I think I have to. Okay. Magic from here? Yeah! Since he's stuck, let's use the slow-ass heavy soul arrows. Oh, also, uh, unlike last time, I also bought one more sorcery. Uh, yeah. Fall control. I think it's like pretty much feather fall. If we get into a place where I want to not su <laughs> True enough. When I want to not suffer full damage and there's a couple areas like that in the game. Whoa, camera. Uh, I'm going to make use of that, I guess. Haha! <laughs> right through the ass. Also, the board guy this time, I didn't hit him in the ass four times like we did in the let's play, I just successfully lured him into the fire where he stood until he burned to death. So that was kind of fun. I, You know what I wanted to do? I wanted to record all my playing up until this point, but like make a montage of it or speed it up a hundred times or something. But I couldn't uh, trust uh, my hard drive to have enough space for the whole footage before before speeding it up because I would need all the raw footage obviously and uh, I think Vegas cannot speed m by more than 12 a at one time and you'd have to like re-render it really is it 12? 
I was only able to speed things up four times. Four, but there is some other way to speed video up, which I don't remember, but there is one you can kind of animate, I mean, it, it, it could like slow down slowly and fade into other speeds and I think that only goes up to three. Uh, weakness danger zone, that's, uh -huh. Danger zone! Uh, when I, if you remember, the Dacia video 4 where they were speeding up with the car journey to and fro. That was sped up 12 times using that technique. Thanks. Okay, there's a ladder there and was there something here? Some ladder or was it just... Oh, this ladder appears broken and thankfully it doesn't. You know what? In the true spirit of Dark Souls it really should allow me to climb down this ladder but as soon as I do it breaks down and I fall and die. I don't know why they didn't do that. They were playing with the casuals at this point. Flirting with the casual players. People say that Dark Souls is easier than Demon Souls. And I only watched Let's Plays of Demon Souls so I cannot really testify against or for that statement. <laughs> uh, funnily enough it was offering a website where I bought my physical copy of Dark Souls. It was offering to sell me Demon Souls also, but thankfully I didn't forget that this was only for PlayStation 3. Sadly I didn't port it at any point. Oh shit! Because if they did I would buy it like no no hesitation instantly. Even though it's really similar, there's a lot of... Oh! Alright, these guys. What the hell is that? Some kind of mosquito human mutant, I, I'm not sure. The magic thing that it does is kind of dangerous, I guess. But they aren't supposed to be very deadly. Although they are pretty resistant to my... Actually, you know what? I think my weapon is kind of broken. Because it did tell me that something, something, weapon, danger. Durability 30. Maybe it does a lot less damage now that it's almost broken. I'm going to take my barbed stray sword. Which could also help with because of its bleeding effect, I guess. And I'm going to use it for a while and then I'm going to repair the boulder thing later. Oh no. Well, at least the bleeding is noticeable with this one. The boulder side sword for some reason didn't have that effect. Well, not really for some reason. This one is all spiky and shit, so it makes sense that it causes bleeding. Although all sorts really should cause bleeding if you think about it. Okay, let's go kill the nameless horror. I think it's somewhere through here. There's a fatty around here somewhere, I think. Hmm, can I get there? Well, I can, but there's nothing. Not even a message. Oh wait, did I emerge from here? Yeah, I think I actually emerged from here. Or did I come down this? Uh, no, I came down the ladder first. Don't confuse myself and through it. Yeah, there is no ladder here. I don't know what I was thinking. By the... There should be some way to get behind that nameless horror thingy. Definitely not there though. Whoosh! Almost fell down. Cannot help you with that, unfortunately. However, I can direct your attention to the fact that we are recording for an hour already. Well, unless you're getting tired and sleepy and whatnot, I, I probably have it in my hard drive to record for like half an hour more. So that's fine by me, I have a shit ton of free space for some reason. Well, I am kinda tired and sleepy, so if you could slowly start ending this episode, that would be perfect. Okay, I am... Ah, yes, that's where we can fall down. I am going to, I guess, kill the Nameless Horror. I will... Oh, right. Thank you, game, for this amazing weapon. Uh, oh, no, this is... Is this an actual weapon that you can use? Yes, but it doesn't do almost... Well, maybe it does do some damage, but it's pretty fucking useless. Okay, uh, let's let's test it out. Maybe I can't, but we'll see what requirements it has. It shouldn't have m too many requirements, I think. Well, it scales better with dexterity, but... And hey, the damage is almost exactly what we have on our barge tree sword. Although it doesn't have, doesn't have any bleeding, obviously. But yeah, it's a weapon, alright. You know what, I'm going to use it for a while, maybe just for shits and giggles 
I think there is like a s particular pyromancy spell that lights it on fire. Oh no, you know what? I think I went around the wrong way. I could I could just hurry up down there to the swamp and get to another bonfire, but I want to kill the nameless horror first. And I obviously missed some stuff up there. Like that corpse. Although I think that corpse is accessed in a wholly different way. I think that later we're also... We can find the spiked whip. Uh, although I'm not sure if that's any better. Alright, so... How would I get behind the unnamed horror? I think it has a name, it's like Gigantic Parasite or something like that. There should be another entrance into the through the wall somewhere around here, maybe. <laughs> ah yes. Yep, that's kind of true. Okay, no fetish, thankfully. <laughs> now this whip is pretty shit, I think. It's more of a novelty weapon. I don't think it can backstab, <laughs> surprisingly enough. Come on, where is the... Another novelty weapon is there is a claw like Wolverine's claw or uh phew. And uh, there is a bit of I don't remember how that instrument is called it's like a gardening ah I think it's a rake rake there is a rake later in the game that we can use it has pretty hilarious animation All right nameless horror we can Yes oh wait no Ville I think that's also a rake, maybe. Or isn't not? I don't know. Would you happen to know the word for Vili? No. Though it feels like I should remember it. Well, we'll see when we uh, get to the pitchfork expansion. Pitchfork, maybe. Ah, yes, right, exactly. Pitchfork. And the nameless horror is dead. It was pretty defenseless from this direction. Okay, you know what, I think this provided that you are indeed <coughs> getting sleepy and tired if I was to believe your uh, words. I am just going to climb back to my bonfire, maybe level up once and leave it at, at, at that. Next time we will get down to the swamp level, fight another NPC invader, which I'm going to dress up for and uh, get another bonfire, maybe unlock a shortcut and do all sorts of crazy stuff. Although before we get to the boss of this area, we'll, we're going to have to go way back to the undead asylum. Oh man, that's going to be fun, but good thing I at least know enough. Oh, I can't even level up. At least I know enough about where what is and what what does so I can do that let's use a couple soul items and level up still so I, it doesn't go to waste ah yeah I found a couple transient curses in an urn right down there by the place where the ghosts are but I think they would kick my ass if I tried to go there so I didn't Okay, how much does it give me? Ah, oh well, a bit of it will go to waste, but who cares? Level up. Uh, mm, mm, not sure if I want to waste souls and strength right now, but yeah, whatever. Let's slowly move on to using, maybe having the ability to use slightly stronger swords. Although my main weapon, of course, is, is always going to be magic. 
except for the situations like this area because here it's all close quarters combat and apart from very specific situations magic isn't really easy and safe to use also I don't know what those are some kind of roots or something there is a lot of giant roots later but what would they do way up there I don't know in any case this is it for episode whatever this episode is see you next time goodbye goodbye yes